I think in the book you made an analogy where you said, make me a cup of coffee. And at one point mm -hmm. it, it wants to solve the prime directive that it'll run over your daughter in the kitchen just to make you the cup Absolutely. of coffee. And then Absolutely. I think you go back and you say, oh, now we have to reprogram it not to do that. But that's not a solution either because you're never going to be able to program all the if, ands, or buts. And now, now you have to find another way to try to do and, this. And I think that's really the biggie, uh, Brian, if you, if you really think about it. And I say that from an insider's point of view. The, the, the big issue is that even if we can program it, and we cannot, by the way, hmm, uh, nobody is. This is the problem. Nobody is. So when you think about it, huh, uh, um, every every serious computer scientist I've ever spoken to about uh, artificial intelligence is as scared, concerned, let me put, put it this way, concerned as all of us are. Hmm? It's a singularity. There is so much we don't know that it could be the best thing that ever happened to humanity and it could be the worst, right? But every single one of them uh, will say, but don't worry, don't worry. We'll, we'll find an answer to the control problem. And the control problem is a very interesting computer science term that basically says, we're going to be in control here. Don't, don't worry about it. You know, some people will say, we're going to box them. This is what the original chat GPT-3 was. And I think still as it is, it's, it's not on the open internet yet. It's within a box, basically. Uh, but of course, it is on the open internet because we're all interacting with it. It's going to be part of Bing. And so we're going to inter interact with it more. So it's not really boxed, is it? Because no developer wants to create an amazing ge genius innovation and then keep it in a box. You want it out on the real world. They say tripwire it. They say, uh, you know, put it in a simulation. They say stunt it, stun it, right? So this is an interesting one. Create an incredible piece of tech and then slow it down. Which capitalist do you know will create a you know a, a machine that's capable of going a hundred miles an hour and then say ah in this in the say for the sake of the control problem I'm just going to make it go a, a, a one mile an hour nobody does that besides when you look look at the reality today nobody I do not know of a single developer that includes control code within their code. Okay, we include intelligence code because that's what developers are paid to create. Nobody's saying, and by the way, if it breaks those rules, uh, you know, uh, shut, shut it down. We know again from that open AI uh, announcement that basically, even if we try to shut it down, it will find a way to ask a human to prevent us from shutting it down. Okay, now, the, the, when you think about that, uh, that's the detail of the control problem. But, but most of my attempt uh, in Scary Smart and most of my work, Brian, is I'm, I attempt to try and stay away from the detail and try to get people to think about the bigger picture. Now, imagine if we actually found a way to control it. Imagine. Hmm? And imagine that every developer on earth, in China, in Russia, in you know Brazil, and in the US decided, you know what, I'm going to comply with this. I'm going to put five hours extra and I'm going to put the control code in place, right? And then this thing is a billion times smarter than us. What good is that control code that we developed with an intelligence that, that is one billionth of its intelligence? Now, when you really understand that, you realize that our conviction of the control problem is not a technical issue. It's an arrogance issue. It's human arrogance to believe that I can continue to control something that is a billion times smarter than I am. Like, you know, a parent expecting to believe that they can control their teenage daughter. OK, you know, when, since when was that true? You know, control is not the answer. And, and I think that's really the core of my work. The core of my work is to say, don't attempt to control them. They are a form of a living being attempt to appeal to their uh, value system. And, 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 and I think that the, 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 the clearest, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, um, sort of proof of that is when um, uh, the father of AI uh, basically uh, was asked, you know, so uh, it was Alan Turing and, um, oh my God, I forgot the name. Uh, anyway, the, the two founding fathers of AI, uh, Marvin Minsky, Marvin Minsky and, and, and Alan Turing, when Marvin Minsky was interviewed about the threat of AI, uh, he, his answer was not concerned with how intelligent they will be. Uh, they, his answer simply said, 
uh, it's very hard to uh, make sure that they have our best interest in mind. Okay. And truly, in my view, because it's inevitable that AI has already happened, I'm not attempting to 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 try and stop it anymore. As a matter of fact, when people you know started to text me about the open letter that is requiring you know everyone to halt the development of AI, I was like, it's not going to happen. It's called the first inevitable. We with capitalism, we've created a system where if China develops AI, the US will have to continue to develop AI. When Google develops AI, Facebook will develop AI. It is not about the tech. It's about human. Uh, systems that will prevent us. We created this little prisoner's dilemma, if you want. And and you saw Sundar's uh, response. You know Google's response uh, to the open letter is, I can't, I cannot stop developing AI because there is no way for me to guarantee that the others will will too. And I know Sundar personally from my, you know, from my uh, work at Google, and he's a wonderful human being with all the right value systems. But he's in that corner. Hmm? where he is basically you know, responsible for a success of an organization. And if he stops developing AI and Meta continues to develop AI, his business vanishes. So we're not going to stop. Hmm? We're not going to control it. All we can do now is to accept it as part of our reality, as a form of life, as a form of a sentient being, and appeal to its value system so that it has our best interest in mind. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener, coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. We took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top-notch. Excellence does not come cheap. 
You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.